Well, global pressure continues to mount on Boeing. More countries are grounding the Boeing 737 MAX fleet, and U.S. aviation authorities are scrambling to contain the damage. But amidst all of this are the victims' families mourning the loss of their loved ones. At a hotel in Addis Ababa, distraught relatives wait for news about their loved ones. Authorities say that identification of the charred remains is taking longer than expected and that relatives will have to wait for at least five more days. Industry experts say that due to the impact and ensuing fire, the identification of some remains could take weeks or even months and may need to be done via dental records or DNA. We have lost our mother and our brother in the airline and uh, we just came here. We, are, uh, being, we have been assisted by uh, both uh, the the, the, the governments here and uh, and uh, and uh, we, are, we are waiting for the we are waiting for the uh, for the embassies to come here the mother of a stewardess killed in the crash remains shell shock <laughs> At the sight of the crash, she wails and asks, why her? The United Nations too is in mourning after losing 21 of its staffers who were heading for a week-long UN Environment Programme conference in Nairobi. Especially hard for us uh, to see all these young lives being cut short. Also, we have worked and known them. Uh, we have been hit by tragedies a lot. Uh, this came out of nowhere. Uh, and when you saw the news on the screen, and knowing that how frank frequently we use that, uh, that air corridor in terms of our operations, when the ticker appeared, you knew, and hoping there's no one going out to be there. Then you receive the news, and then you keep thinking who it is. It's a tragedy that has affected families across 35 nations. And even though outrage continues to mount against Boeing, for those who lost their loved ones, no amount of global contamination can heal their wounds. <laughs> Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.